Hello YouTube, this is Beedrew1111 Gamertag, Beedrew93, the Welsh Gamer. The Welsh Gamer is speaking. And, basically, um, I don't know if any of you have seen the video, I got quite a lot of good feedback from this video, but this video is in direct connection with the video that I'd done a few weeks ago, the HDR denied for Xbox uh, One S because of third party developers. I basically go through why and how there is a clear divide between the Xbox One S and the PS4 Pro in terms of which third party developer games are granted HDR ready access for one platform over the other, even though they're both capable of doing HDR. Um, it seems very evident, at least, that uh, third party developers are purposely ignoring the fact that the Xbox One S can also do HDR um, in favour of the PlayStation 4 Pro. Um, to make it more appealing to the masses, because obviously it's PlayStation, uh, you know, we all know how devs like and love, uh, devs and media both love PlayStation, um, but not to mention that, you know, it's meant to be their, their new big, bold, big, bad, bloody machine, and it's not even more capable of any, it's not even more impressive in any way, shape, or form than the Xbox One S, aside from its checkerboard rendering, um, um, 4K rendering. Um, but anyway, this is the, the point I'm making is um, I'll put the link in the description for that HDR denied video. I, I urge you check it out. I've had a lot of good feedback from it via Facebook and uh, and the um, the comment section of the YouTube video itself. Um, it seems a lot of people have I've opened. I mean, I've even though I've only had like 120 plus views on the video, it seems I've opened up people's eyes a bit to this clear divide. Um, you know, it, it, it goes without saying, guys, I captioned the list. There is 28 third-party games HDR ready as of today for the PlayStation 4 Pro. That's 28. If you include the first-party games, there's well over 30. But, but if we're just talking the third-party games, so your EAs, your Ubisoft, your Bethesda's, you know, we all know what third party means. There's 28 approximately. There could be a few more, a few less. Uh, not a few less. There's 100% 28 that I know of. But some of the games I wasn't familiar with, so I didn't put them on the list. But the ones that I know of that are 100% third party, there are 28. And there are only six third party um, games available HDR on the Xbox One S out of nine games, the other three being first party. And basically this video, I've had my rant, I've had my rave, if you go over to that video I literally have a bit of a rant about it and basically discuss um, why I think that it is a clear bias um, from the third party developing development. Um, but I in this video wanted to basically ask the question openly to you guys, are we going to see a repeat of this? Um, I basically touched on this little question at the end of my HDR video, but I didn't go into detail, hence why I wanted to make this video. But are we going to see a repeat of this? Are we going to see third-party developers like Bethesda, Rockstar, EA, Activision, you know, you, you know, your games like Call of Duty, your Battlefields, your um, football games, your, your Madden NFL games, your uh, open world games, your Ghost Recon Wildlands, your Assassin's Creed, like honestly, like these games, these big, big third party titles, third party titles, are we going to see a repeat of this? Are we going to see the Xbox One Scorpio now get shunned? Are we going to see the fact? Are we going to see third-party developers purposely denying the Xbox Scorpio its capabilities of 4K native? Because, like, let's just break it down here, people. The PlayStation 4 Pro was meant to be their Scorpio. So I think Sony were definitely caught with their pants down when at E3 Phil Spencer announced the Scorpio. I really do not think. Yoshida and the PlayStation team were expecting such a huge announcement. The Pro was meant to be their Scorpio. They were going to proudly announce that on stage, no doubt, until Microsoft blew, blew up in their faces, basically, that an even bigger, badder monster was only 12 months down the line, which kind of shut them up, really. I mean, you know, you could argue, you could say you feel sorry for them because, you know, they were probably excited to show this bad boy off. And, you know, no one's denying it was. it's a good console. But it's very underpowered compared to the um, Scorpio, which is coming out this November, not this November, next November 2017. 
And basically the point I'm making is Phil Spencer, Monkey Barra, Aaron Greenberg and plenty of other Xbox executives via podcast interviews, via article, via E3 have specifically stated they are put they are really, especially with all the flack Xbox have had, I really don't think these people are stupid enough to put their reputations and their jobs and their necks on the line when they specifically state that the Xbox Scorpio will, not might, not could, potentially, will hit native 4K. They have specifically stated first party games will be native 4K. Third party developers, they're not going to mandate it. It is up to the developer. But the developer can, if they so wish to, go full native 4K. Not checkerboard rendering like the Scorpio, um, pardon me, like the PS4 Pro is doing. No, like, you know, little, you know, rendering tips and tricks in the industry to try and get it as close to or as near as. It will hit native 4K if the developer chooses. And that brings me to the ultimate question, guys, the golden question, which I'm asking you now. Are we going to see a repeat of what we've been seeing with the HDR feature when the Scorpio was released? Because, you know, all of Sony's money has gone into VR and this Pro. They have not got the money to just uproot and ditch the Pro and make a PlayStation 5, which is on par or better than the Scorpio, which is 4K native ready. They, they can't do that. It'll be a few years now before we see that from PlayStation. So my point being, are we going to see a repeat where these developers ignore the fact and go full on parity mode with the PS4 Pro and the Xbox Scorpio because they don't want to see, in a nutshell, the PlayStation 4 Pro becoming the ugly stepsister in the corner that nobody wants. Because end of the day, people can argue, ah, don't matter, you know, and, and I'll agree with you. You're always going to have PlayStation fans. But th if this generation has taught me anything, especially from you ponies and PC elitists, it's that this is this gaming, you know, hobby we all love is becoming less and less about the games and the stories and the and the innovation and the fun element, and more and more and more and more every single day and passing week and month and year about power, power, power. And Xbox is, is giving you that power. And in, an, in, in theoretically, the Scorpio could flush the Pro down the toilet, which is why I'm begging the question, are we going to see a repeat? If, if, if devs are already ignoring a simple software feature that is HDR, which is the click of a button just to grant, access, um, grant the output to the TV HDR quality, so, uh, you know, assuming that they have the right HDMI output, but they do, both consoles do, the S and the Pro, both are capable of HDR. All these devs have to do is click a button and it is available and, 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 it's, and it's ready, but they choose not to on the Xbox One S for some reason. If this is already being seen on something that is, is HDR, as simple as HDR, are, we, are they going to lose their integrity? Are we going to see games like Call of Duty be, you know, for checkerboard 4K on the Pro and, you know, the same level of graphic fidelity and resolution on the Xbox Scorpio when if they put any extra time in whatsoever, they could hit that native 4K map. I keep asking this question when it comes to Red Dead Redemption because Rockstar, I can't imagine, would make their game any less than native 4K if they could because they're a very, very, very proud and massive and, and huge developing company. But I just don't know anymore. That's why I'm asking the question. I'm asking all of you guys. I, I, I have nothing, I have no, think, nothing to say. This is not an opinion as such. This is not, this is just me speculating because of evidence that we've seen in previous months with regards to HDR. I just have to ask, are we going to see another repeat of this with the Scorpio? Because they don't want to see the Scorpio completely succeed and make the Pro look crap. I'm not saying it is, that's not my wording. I'm just saying, is that what we're going to see? Are we going to see a clear divide again with, with Xbox Scorpio being shunned of its true capabilities because of the Pro? Because that's holding it back and, it, and, and devs don't want to see the Scorpio completely outwit the pro. 
just asking the question guys I, I have to ask it it's something I've been thinking about since I made the HDR video let me know in the comment section go watch my HDR video it's in the description take it easy guys that's all I got for you that is the Welsh Gamer out